Chapter 1 The Early Years In the heart of the United States, in the state of Arkansas, a boy named William Jefferson Clinton was born on August 19, 1946. People usually called him Bill. His birthplace, a town called Hope, was small but full of friendly faces. Bill's early life wasn't easy. His father, who was a travelling salesman, died in a car accident just three months before Bill was born. His mother, Virginia, was left to raise him alone. She was a caring and strong woman. To support her family, she went to New Orleans to study nursing. While she was away, Bill stayed with his grandparents, Eldridge and Edith Cassidy. They owned a small store in Hope. Bill's grandparents were kind and taught him important values like honesty and hard work. When Bill was four years old, his mother returned from New Orleans. She brought not only her nursing degree, but also a new husband, Roger Clinton. The family moved to a new town called Hot Springs. It was bigger than hope and full of life. Bill got a new brother, Roger Jr., when he was seven. He loved being a big brother. From a young age, Bill was curious and loved learning. He was especially interested in history and politics. Even as a little boy, he liked to read newspapers. His family often talked about politics at the dinner table, and this made young Bill think about being a leader one day. School was where Bill truly shined. He was not only smart, but also friendly. He loved talking to everyone and was known for his big smile. His teachers saw something special in him. He was not just good at studies, he was also good at music. He played the saxophone and loved jazz. His friends and teachers believed he could become a professional musician if he wanted. But Bill had different dreams. When he was in high school, he became more and more interested in helping others and making a difference in the world. He was a natural leader. He joined student groups and often led school projects. His classmates respected him and liked his ideas. One of the most important moments in Bill's young life happened when he was 16. He got a chance to go to Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States. There, he met President John F. Kennedy. This meeting was very special for Bill. He felt inspired by President Kennedy's words and ideas. It was then that Bill knew for sure he wanted to be a politician. He wanted to help people and make the world a better place. Back in school, Bill worked even harder. He knew that to achieve big things, he had to study and learn as much as he could. He was a star in his debate team, where he learned how to speak confidently and share his ideas clearly. Bill also cared about people who needed help. He often volunteered in his community. He believed that everyone deserved a chance to have a good life, no matter where they came from. This belief was something he carried with him as he grew up. As Bill's high school days were coming to an end, he started to think about the future. He wanted to go to college and study law. He dreamed of using his knowledge to make a difference in people's lives. Bill was not just dreaming, he was planning. He knew that getting into a good college would take a lot of hard work, but he was ready for the challenge. In his final year of high school, Bill applied to several universities. He was an excellent student, and his teachers wrote him glowing recommendations. They knew Bill was going to achieve great things. His family wasn't rich, so he also applied for scholarships to help pay for college. Finally, the day came when Bill received his college acceptance letters. He was accepted into several good schools. This was a big decision, and he took his time to think about it. He talked to his family and teachers. In the end, he chose Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., he wanted to be close to the heart of American politics. Leaving Arkansas was hard for Bill. He was going to miss his family and friends. But he was also excited about the adventure ahead. At Georgetown, 
he would meet new people and learn new things. It was the first step towards his dream of becoming a leader and making a difference in the world. Bill's time in Arkansas had shaped him. The small towns of Hope and Hot Springs had given him a strong foundation. His family, especially his mother and grandparents, had taught him to be kind, work hard, and never give up. These lessons would help him in the years to come. As Bill Clinton left Arkansas for Georgetown, he was full of hope and determination. He didn't know it then, but he was on his way to becoming one of the most important figures in American history. His journey from a small town boy to the President of the United States was just beginning. And it all started in the little town of Hope, where a young boy with big dreams believed he could change the world. Chapter 2 a leader emerges. High school is a time of change and growth for many, and it was no different for Bill Clinton. He attended Hot Springs High School, a place where his leadership qualities and academic achievements began to truly shine. Bill was not just a student. He was a young man with a vision. He loved learning, and his favourite subjects were history and government. His teachers noticed his passion for these subjects. He would often stay after class to ask questions and discuss ideas. His thirst for knowledge was endless. In high school, Bill also discovered his talent for public speaking. He had a way with words and could easily capture the attention of his audience. This skill made him popular, not only among his classmates, but also with his teachers. He was often asked to speak at school, events and assemblies. When Bill spoke, people listened. Bill's leadership qualities were evident in the way he interacted with his peers. He was always ready to help others with their studies or give advice. He believed that everyone had the potential to succeed, and he wanted to help them achieve their goals. This attitude made him well-liked and respected among his classmates. One of the highlights of Bill's high school years was his involvement in student government. He ran for and was elected as the student council president. This role gave him a chance to develop his leadership skills further. He organised events, led meetings and worked with school administrators to make positive changes in the school. His time as president was not without challenges. He had to learn how to negotiate, solve problems and make tough decisions. These experiences taught him important lessons about leadership and responsibility. He realised that being a leader meant more than just being in charge. It was about serving others and working for the greater good. Academically, Bill was a top student. He worked hard and was determined to get good grades. His efforts paid off and he was consistently at the top of his class. His academic success opened many doors for him. He was invited to join the National Honour Society, a group for outstanding students. He also won several awards for his academic achievements. But Bill's life in high school was not all about studying and leadership. He was also a teenager who enjoyed spending time with his friends. He loved music and was an excellent saxophone player. He played in the school band and even considered a career in music at one point. But his passion for politics and public service was stronger. Bill's high school years were also a time when he started thinking seriously about his future. He knew he wanted to go to college and study law. He wanted to be a force for change and make a positive impact on the world. This dream drove him to work even harder in his studies and extracurricular activities. As his high school days came to an end, Bill was filled with a mix of excitement and nervousness about the future. He had achieved a lot in high school, but he knew that there were bigger challenges ahead. He was ready to face them head on. Bill Clinton's high school years were a crucial period in his life. They were the years when a leader emerged, 
he developed skills and qualities that would one day help him become the President of the United States. His journey was just beginning, but he was already on the path to greatness. Chapter 3. First Steps in Politics College is often a time when young people explore new paths and discover their passions. For Bill Clinton, his years at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., were when he took his first serious steps into the world of politics. It was here that Bill's journey into a life of public service truly began. Georgetown, with its close proximity to the heart of American politics, was the perfect place for Bill. He was excited to be in a city where history was being made every day. From the moment he set foot on campus, Bill knew he was where he needed to be. In college, Bill studied international affairs. He wanted to understand the world and how countries worked together. His classes were challenging, but Bill was up for the challenge. He was a dedicated student, often spending long hours in the library, reading and researching. He was especially interested in how governments could help their people live better lives. Bill's passion for politics was not limited to his classes. He became involved in student politics at Georgetown. He joined the student government and became a leader in various student organisations. His natural charisma and ability to speak clearly and persuasively made him a standout figure on campus. One of the most important experiences during Bill's college years was his internship. He worked in the office of Arkansas Senator J. William Fulbright. Senator Fulbright was an influential figure in American politics, known for his work in international relations. Working for the senator was a dream come true for Bill. He learned a great deal about how the government operates and the importance of making thoughtful, informed decisions. This internship also gave Bill the opportunity to see the inner workings of Congress. He attended committee meetings, helped with research, and even drafted correspondence. This hands-on experience was invaluable. It confirmed Bill's desire to work in government and public service. Bill's time with Senator Fulbright wasn't just about work. It was also a time for him to develop his own ideas about politics and leadership. He admired the senator's commitment to peace and international understanding. These ideals resonated with Bill and influenced his own political views. Apart from his academic and political activities, college was also a time for Bill to make lasting friendships. He met many people who shared his interests and ambitions. They had long discussions about politics, history and their hopes for the future. Some of these friends would later join Bill in his political journey. As Bill's college years came to an end, he knew he had grown and changed in many ways. He had come to Georgetown as a young man eager to learn about the world. He left as a young leader ready to make a difference in that world. He graduated with honours, a testament to his hard work and dedication. With his college degree in hand, Bill was ready for the next chapter of his life. He decided to continue his education and study law at Yale University. He knew that a law degree would give him the tools he needed to help people and be an effective leader. Bill Clinton's first steps in politics during his college years laid the foundation for his future in public service. His experiences at Georgetown and his internship with Senator Fulbright were just the beginning. He was on his way to becoming a powerful voice in American politics. The journey ahead would be challenging, but Bill was ready for whatever came his way. Chapter 4 Rising Star After his time at Yali, Bill Clinton returned to Arkansas, a place he always called home. This return marked the beginning of a new and exciting chapter in his life. It was the start of his rapid rise in the world of politics. Back in Arkansas, Bill began teaching law at the University of Arkansas. He loved teaching and sharing his knowledge with students. But deep inside, 
He knew his true calling was in public service. He wanted to use his skills and knowledge to make a real difference in people's lives. Bill's opportunity came in 1974 when he decided to run for Congress. He was only 28 years old, but he was full of energy and ideas. Bill's campaign was a mixture of hard work and enthusiasm. He travelled all over his district, meeting people and listening to their concerns. He wanted to understand their needs and how he could help them. Even though Bill was young and less experienced than other politicians, he had a special way of connecting with people. He spoke to them not as a distant politician, but as a neighbour and friend. This connection was something people remembered and appreciated. The election was tough, and Bill faced a strong opponent. In the end, he didn't win, but he came very close. This experience didn't discourage him. Instead, it made him more determined to continue his journey in politics. He learned a lot from the campaign about how to reach people and talk about important issues. Bill's chance to make a bigger impact came in 1976. He decided to run for Arkansas Attorney General. This position is very important. The Attorney General is like a lawyer for the state, making sure laws are followed and people are treated fairly. Bill believed he could do a lot of good in this role. His campaign for Attorney General was a success. People saw his dedication and believed in his vision for a better Arkansas. At the age of 30, Bill Clinton became the youngest Attorney General in the United States. It was a remarkable achievement and a sign of his rising star in politics. As Attorney General, Bill worked hard. He focused on protecting the environment, improving health care and making sure businesses treated people fairly. He was a strong voice for the people of Arkansas. People started to see him not just as a young politician, but as a leader with a real passion for making positive changes. Bill's time as Attorney General was not just about legal work. It was also a time for him to grow and learn as a leader. He dealt with complex issues and worked with different people, including lawmakers, business leaders and ordinary citizens. These experiences gave him a deeper understanding of how to solve problems and bring about change. In 1978, after two successful years as Attorney General, Bill decided to take the next step in his political career. He ran for governor of Arkansas. The governor is the leader of the state, responsible for making important decisions and guiding the state's future. Bill felt ready for this challenge. The people of Arkansas were ready for Bill too. They had seen his work as Attorney General and trusted him to be a good governor. Bill won the election and became one of the youngest governors in American history. It was a huge accomplishment and a testament to his hard work and leadership skills. As governor, Bill faced new challenges. He had to manage the state's budget, work on improving schools and create jobs for people. He also had to work with politicians from different parties to get things done. It was a big responsibility, but Bill was up for the task. Bill's rise in politics from a law professor to the governor of Arkansas was rapid, but it was not accidental. It was the result of his dedication, hard work and his genuine desire to help people. He listened to what people needed and worked to make their lives better. His journey was an inspiration to many and a clear indication that he was a rising star in the political world. As governor, Bill began implementing changes and reforms. He focused on improving education because he believed that everyone deserved a good education. He worked to make schools better and ensure that all children, no matter where they lived, had access to quality learning. Bill also cared deeply about the health of the people in Arkansas. He worked on programs to help people get better health care. He knew that healthy people make a strong community. These efforts showed his commitment 
to taking care of his fellow Arkansans. During his time as governor, Bill faced some tough decisions. Not everyone agreed with his ideas, and sometimes he had to compromise. But he always tried to do what was best for the people of Arkansas. He learned that being a leader means listening, learning, and sometimes changing plans to do the right thing. Bill Clinton's time as Attorney General and Governor of Arkansas was just the beginning of his long and impactful political career. These early years in politics showed his ability to lead, his dedication to public service, and his commitment to making a difference in people's lives. His journey from teaching law to leading a state was filled with challenges and successes. It taught him valuable lessons about leadership, responsibility, and the power of hard work. These lessons would be crucial in the years to come as he continued his path in politics, eventually leading him to the highest office in the United States. Chapter 5. The Governor of Arkansas. Bill Clinton's time as the Governor of Arkansas was a period of growth and change for both him and the state. As Governor, he had big responsibilities. He was in charge of the state's government and had to make decisions that affected all the people living in Arkansas. One of the first things Bill focused on as Governor was education. He believed that a good education was the key to a better future. He wanted every child in Arkansas to have the chance to learn and succeed. To make this happen, he worked on improving schools and increasing funding for education. He also introduced programs to help teachers become better at their jobs. Bill knew that good teachers were essential for good education. Another important area for Bill was the economy of Arkansas. He wanted to create more jobs and make the state a better place to do business. This meant attracting new companies to Arkansas and supporting local businesses. Bill worked hard to make the state's economy stronger and more diverse. He believed that a strong economy would mean a better life for the people of Arkansas. Healthcare was also a priority for Bill. He introduced programs to help people who couldn't afford medical care. He wanted to make sure that everyone, no matter their income, had access to doctors and hospitals. Good health was something Bill thought everyone deserved. As governor, Bill was known for his hands-on leadership style. He was not the kind of leader who just stayed in his office. He liked to get out and meet people. He visited schools, factories, farms, and offices all over the state. He wanted to see the real-life situations of the people he was serving. This helped him understand their needs and how he could help. Bill was also a leader who believed in working together. He knew that he couldn't do everything alone. He needed the help of other politicians, business leaders and everyday citizens. He often met with different groups to talk about problems and find solutions. Bill was good at bringing people together and getting them to work as a team. During his time as governor, Bill faced some challenges. Not everyone agreed with his ideas or methods. There were times when he had to convince others to support his plans. He had to be patient and persuasive. Bill was a skilled speaker, and he used this skill to explain his ideas and convince people to join him in making changes. Bill's time as governor was not just about making policies and laws. It was about making a real difference in people's lives. He wanted to make Arkansas a place where everyone had the opportunity to succeed. Under his leadership, the state made progress in education, the economy and health care. However, Bill also learned that being a leader meant facing criticism. Not all his decisions were popular, and he had to learn how to deal with opposition. But he remained committed to his vision for Arkansas. He always tried to do what he thought was best for the state and its people. Bill Clinton's tenure as governor of Arkansas was a time of hard work and dedication. He put his heart and soul into his job. He cared deeply about the state 
and its people. His efforts to improve education, the economy and health care showed his commitment to making Arkansas a better place. Bill's leadership style was also about learning and adapting. He was always willing to listen to new ideas and different opinions. This openness helped him grow as a leader. He didn't just want to be a good governor. He wanted to be the right governor for Arkansas. One of the biggest challenges Bill faced as governor was balancing the budget. He had to make sure the state had enough money to pay for all the programs and services it needed. This often meant making tough choices about where to spend and where to save. Bill approached this challenge with a practical mindset, always keeping the needs of the people in mind. Bill also focused on improving the state's infrastructure. He knew that good roads, bridges and public buildings were important for a modern state. These projects not only made life better for people, but also created jobs. Under his leadership, Arkansas saw significant improvements in its infrastructure. Another area where Bill made an impact was in the field of environmental protection. He believed in preserving the natural beauty of Arkansas for future generations. His administration worked on several projects to protect the environment and promote sustainable practices. Throughout his time as governor, Bill kept an eye on the future. He wanted to prepare Arkansas for the new challenges of the 21st century. He invested in technology and education, hoping to give the state a strong foundation for the years to come. Bill's tenure as governor was marked by progress and growth, but it was also a learning experience for him. He learned about the complexities of governing and the importance of compromise and negotiation. He faced successes and setbacks, but through it all, he remained focused on his goal of serving the people of Arkansas. Bill Clinton left the governor's office with a legacy of change and improvement. He had transformed many aspects of the state and had touched the lives of countless Arkansans. His time as governor was a crucial chapter in his life, shaping him into the leader he would become on the national stage. His journey from a young law professor to the governor of Arkansas was remarkable. It showed his dedication, his ability to connect with people, and his commitment to making a difference. These qualities would continue to define his career as he moved on to bigger challenges and higher offices. Chapter 6. National Ambitions as the governor of Arkansas, Bill Clinton had made a name for himself. He was known for his work in improving education, health care and the economy. But Bill's vision was not limited to just one state. He had bigger dreams. He saw challenges facing the whole country and believed he could help. This belief led him to think about a much larger role, becoming the President of the United States. The idea of running for president was not something Bill took lightly. It was a huge decision. The president is the leader of the entire country, responsible for making decisions that affect millions of people. Bill knew it was a big responsibility, but he felt ready for it. He believed his experiences as governor had prepared him for this challenge. Bill's journey to national politics started with his involvement in the Democratic Party. He worked with other leaders from across the country, sharing his ideas and learning from them. People noticed his passion and intelligence. He had a way of speaking about complex issues in a simple and clear manner. This skill made him popular among his fellow Democrats. As he became more involved in national politics, Bill started to think about the changes he wanted to see in the country. He saw problems like unemployment, poverty and lack of access to health care. He believed that with the right policies, these issues could be addressed. He wanted to build a country where everyone had the chance to succeed. Bill's decision to run for president was finally made in 1991. The country was going through tough times. The economy was not doing well, and many people were worried about their futures. Bill saw this 
as an opportunity to bring about change. He announced his candidacy, and the journey to the White House began. Running for president is a big task. Bill had to travel across the country, meeting people and talking about his vision for America. He went to big cities and small towns, speaking to people from all walks of life. He listened to their stories and shared his ideas. His message was about hope and change. He wanted to inspire people and show them that better days were ahead. Bill's campaign was not easy. He faced strong opponents and tough questions, but he remained focused on his message. He talked about creating jobs, improving education, and making health care available for everyone. He wanted to build a bridge to the 21st century, a future where every American had the opportunity to succeed. During the campaign, Bill also talked about his experiences as governor. He used Arkansas as an example of what could be done at the national level. He spoke about the reforms he had made in education and how he had worked to improve the state's economy. These stories helped people see him as a leader who could get things done. The campaign trail was full of challenges, but Bill was not alone. He had a strong team supporting him, including his wife, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Hillary was a lawyer and an advocate for children and families. She was a key part of Bill's campaign, offering advice and support. Together, they made a strong team. As the campaign went on, more and more people started to believe in Bill's vision. He connected with voters who were looking for change. They saw him as someone who understood their problems and had real solutions. Finally, the election day came in November 1992. It was a tense and exciting day. People all over the country watched and waited for the results. When the votes were counted, Bill Clinton had won. He was going to be the 42nd President of the United States. It was the culmination of years of hard work and dedication. Bill's journey from the governor of Arkansas to the president-elect was extraordinary. He had risen from local politics to the highest office in the country. His message of hope and change had resonated with Americans. As he prepared to take office, Bill was. Filled with a sense of responsibility and excitement, he knew he had a big task ahead of him. He was about to lead a nation and work on solving its biggest problems. The night of his victory, Bill addressed the nation. He talked about unity and working together for a better future. He thanked the people for their trust in him and promised to be a president for all Americans. It was a moment of great emotion and significance, not just for Bill, but for the entire country. Bill's path to the presidency showed his determination and ability to inspire people. He had started as a young man from a small town in Arkansas with big dreams. Now, he was about to enter the White House. His story was an example of what could be achieved with hard work and a strong belief in one's ideas. As Bill prepared to take office, he thought about the issues he wanted to tackle first. He planned to work on improving the economy, creating jobs and reforming health care. He also wanted to focus on education and ensure that every child in America had access to a good school. Bill was ready to turn his ideas into action. Becoming president was a huge achievement, but Bill knew that the real work was just beginning. He was about to lead the country during a time of change and challenge, but he was confident in his vision and his ability to make a difference. He was eager to start his work as president and lead America into a new era. Bill Clinton's rise to national politics and his decision to run for president was a journey filled with challenges, learning and triumph. His story was not just about winning an election, it was about a vision for a better America. As he stepped into the role of president, Bill was determined to make that vision a reality. Chapter 7 
The Road to the White House. The 1992 presidential campaign was a journey full of excitement and challenges for Bill Clinton. It was a time when he had to prove himself to the entire nation. The road to the White House was not easy, but Bill was ready for the challenge. Bill's campaign began long before the election day. It was a well-planned effort that involved many people. His team was made up of experienced politicians, enthusiastic volunteers and skilled advisers. They all worked together with one goal in mind, to make Bill Clinton the next President of the United States. One of the key strategies of Bill's campaign was to connect with the American people. He wanted to show them that he understood their problems and had plans to solve them. Bill travelled to many states, speaking at rallies, town halls and other events. He met with workers, farmers, business owners and students. He listened to their stories and shared his vision for a better future. Bill's ability to connect with people was one of his greatest strengths. He was a natural communicator. He could talk about complex issues in a way that was easy to understand. People felt that he was one of them, someone who knew what it was like to face real-life problems. The economy was a major issue during the 1992 campaign. Many Americans were worried about their jobs and their future. Bill focused on this concern. He promised to work on creating more jobs and improving the economy. He talked about his plan to invest in education, health care and technology. These ideas were well received by many voters who were looking for a change. Another important part of Bill's campaign was his use of television. He appeared on news shows, talk shows and even late night comedy programs. This helped him reach a wider audience. He showed that he was not just a politician, but also a person with a sense of humour and a warm personality. Bill also faced challenges during his campaign. There were questions about his past and criticism from his opponents. But he handled these challenges with calmness and clarity. He stayed focused on his message and his plans for the country. One of the key moments of the campaign was the presidential debates. These were opportunities for Bill to face his opponents directly and discuss important issues. He prepared thoroughly for these debates. His performances were strong and he was able to clearly explain his policies and defend his record. These debates helped increase his popularity among undecided voters. Bill's wife, Hillary, played a significant role in the campaign as well. She was an active and visible presence, travelling across the country to support her husband. She spoke about her own work in law and advocacy and how she would continue to work on issues related to children and families. Her intelligence and commitment added strength to Bill's campaign. As the campaign neared its end, the effort and hard work of Bill and his team were clear. They had built a strong campaign that reached people all over the country. On election day, November 3, 1992, the American people voted. The result was a victory for Bill Clinton. He won the election and became the 42 one president of the United States. The road to the White House was a testament to Bill Clinton's determination, his ability to connect with people and his vision for America. The campaign of 1992 was not just about winning an election. It was about bringing hope and change to the country. As Bill prepared to take office, he was aware of the challenges ahead, but he was also hopeful about the future. He was ready to lead America into a new era. Chapter 8 First Term Challenges Becoming President of the United States was a huge achievement for Bill Clinton. But with this new role came many challenges. His first term in office was a period of learning, adapting and facing tough situations. Bill was ready to tackle these challenges head on. One of the first and biggest challenges Bill faced was the economy. 
When he became president, the United States was going through a difficult time. Many people didn't have jobs, and the country was in debt. Fixing the economy was Bill's top priority. He knew that a strong economy was key to a better future for all Americans. Bill worked with his team to create a plan to improve the economy. This plan included increasing taxes for the wealthiest people and reducing government spending in some areas. The goal was to reduce the country's debt and create more jobs. These decisions were not easy, and not everyone agreed with them. But Bill believed they were necessary steps to take. Another major area Bill focused on was health care. He wanted to make sure that every American had access to affordable health care. This was a big goal, and it was not easy to achieve. Bill's wife, Hillary Clinton, led the effort to create a new health care plan. They faced a lot of opposition from different groups, including some politicians and businesses. Despite their efforts, the plan did not pass. This was a disappointment for Bill, but he didn't give up on the idea of improving health care for Americans. Bill also faced challenges in foreign policy. As president, he had to make decisions about the United States' relationship with other countries. One of the early challenges was in Somalia, where American troops were involved in a peacekeeping mission. There was a tragic incident where American soldiers were killed. This event was a difficult moment for Bill's presidency. He had to make tough decisions about the role of the United States in international conflicts. Another important issue was the situation in the Balkans in Eastern Europe. There was a war in the region, and Bill had to decide how the United States would respond. He worked with other world leaders to find a way to end the conflict and bring peace to the area. This was a complex and challenging situation, but Bill was committed to finding a solution. On the domestic front, Bill worked on other important issues. He wanted to improve education and reduce crime. He introduced policies to increase funding for schools and to put more police officers on the streets. These initiatives were part of his effort to make America a safer and better place to live. Bill's first term was not just about facing challenges, it was also about learning and growing as a president. He learned that being a leader meant making hard decisions. Sometimes he had to compromise and change his plans. He also learned the importance of working with other people, including members of Congress, to get things done. Politics was about negotiation and finding common ground. One of the successes of Bill's first term was the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA. This agreement was between the United States, Canada and Mexico. It aimed to increase trade and economic cooperation between these countries. Getting NAFTA approved was not easy. There was opposition and debate. But Bill believed that it would be good for the economy and create jobs. In the end, NAFTA was passed, and it marked a significant achievement in his presidency. Bill also focused on issues like the environment and technology. He wanted the United States to be a leader in environmental protection and technological innovation. His administration worked on policies to reduce pollution and promote the use of new technologies. These efforts showed his commitment to looking towards the future. Throughout his first term, Bill faced both criticism and support. Being president meant being in the spotlight, and every decision he made was closely watched and often debated. Bill had to be strong and stay true to his beliefs, even when faced with tough criticism. As Bill's first term came to a close, he had a mix of successes and setbacks. He had worked hard to address the challenges facing the country, but there was still much to be done. He had learned a lot about being a president, about the complexities of government, and about the needs of the American people. Bill Clinton's first term was a time of significant challenges, 
but also of important achievements. He had taken steps to improve the economy, tried to reform healthcare, and faced difficult decisions in foreign policy. These experiences shaped him as a leader and prepared him for the years ahead. As he looked forward to the possibility of a second term, Bill was determined to continue his work. He wanted to keep pushing for change and improvement. He believed in the potential of America and in the ability of its people to overcome challenges. His journey as president was far from over, but he was ready for whatever came next. Chapter 9 a time of change. Bill Clinton's first term as president was a period filled with significant changes and events. These years were marked by his leadership through various challenges and his dedication to improving the country. One of the biggest changes during this time was in the economy. When Bill became president, the United States was in a difficult economic situation. Many people were without jobs and the country faced a large debt. Bill worked hard to turn this around. He implemented a plan that focused on reducing the debt and creating job opportunities. This plan included raising taxes for the wealthiest Americans and cutting spending in some areas. These were tough decisions, but they started to show positive results. The economy began to improve. More jobs were created, and the country's financial situation got better. Healthcare was another area where Bill wanted to make significant changes. He believed that every American should have access to affordable health care. This was a big challenge. Bill and his team, with Hillary Clinton playing a key role, worked on a plan to reform the health care system. They faced strong opposition, and despite their efforts, the plan did not pass. This was a setback but it showed Bill's commitment to trying to make positive changes in health care. Bill's first term was also marked by important policies in education and crime. He introduced the Violence Against Women Act and the Brady Bill, which required a waiting period for gun purchases. These laws were steps towards making America a safer place. In education, Bill worked to increase funding for schools and to ensure that every child had access to quality education. He believed that education was the key to a better future. In foreign policy, Bill faced several challenges. He had to make decisions about the United States' role in conflicts in Somalia and the Balkans. These were difficult situations, and Bill worked with other world leaders to find solutions. His approach was to promote peace and stability, both in these regions and globally. Bill's first term also saw the signing of the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA. This agreement between the United States, Canada and Mexico aimed to increase trade and economic cooperation. Getting NAFTA approved was a significant achievement. It showed Bill's ability to work on complex issues and to bring about meaningful change. Another highlight of Bill's presidency was his focus on technology and the environment. He promoted the development of new technologies and worked on environmental protection policies. Bill understood that technology was the key to the future, and he wanted America to be a leader in this area. His administration supported research and innovation in various fields, including the internet and renewable energy. These efforts showed his commitment to progress and to preparing the country for the 21st century. Environmental protection was also important to Bill. He believed in preserving the natural beauty of America for future generations. His administration took steps to reduce pollution and protect natural areas. These efforts demonstrated his understanding of the importance of the environment for a healthy and sustainable future. One of the most challenging moments of Bill's first term was the incident in Somalia. American troops were involved in a peacekeeping mission there, but things did not go as planned. This situation was a difficult test for Bill's leadership. 
he had to make tough decisions about the role of the United States in international conflicts. It was a moment that showed the complexities of being president. Bill also focused on improving relationships with other countries. He worked on building stronger ties with nations around the world. He believed that a good relationship with other countries was important for peace and for America's role on the global stage. Throughout his first term, Bill faced various challenges. He had successes and setbacks. But through it all, he showed his ability to lead and his commitment to making America a better place. He dealt with each challenge with determination and always looked for ways to improve the country. Bill's first term as president was a time of significant changes. He worked on the economy, healthcare, education, crime, foreign policy, technology, and the environment. These efforts showed his wide range of interests and his desire to address the important issues facing the country. As Bill's first term came to an end, he had a record of both achievements and challenges. He had faced criticism and opposition, but he had also made progress in many areas. His leadership during this time was a mixture of resilience, innovation and dedication to public service. Looking back on these years, it was clear that Bill Clinton's presidency was a time of change. He had brought new ideas and energy to the White House. His vision for America was one of hope and progress. As he prepared for the possibility of a second term, Bill was determined to continue his work and to keep pushing for positive changes in the country. Chapter 10. Re-election and Resolve. After four years as president, Bill Clinton was ready to run for re-election in 1996. He had faced many challenges in his first term, but he was determined to continue his work for the American people. The 1996 presidential election was a time for Bill to share his achievements and set out his vision for the future. Bill's campaign for re-election was focused on the progress he had made during his first term. He talked about the improvements in the economy, the creation of new jobs, and his efforts to reduce the national debt. He also highlighted his work in education, health care and environmental protection. Bill wanted to show that under his leadership, America was moving in the right direction. The campaign was not just about what had been done, but also about what could be done in the future. Bill shared his plans for his second term. He wanted to continue improving the economy, make health care more accessible and keep working on environmental issues. He also had plans to further improve education and to make America a safer place by reducing crime. Bill's approach to the campaign was to connect with people across the country. He travelled to many states, speaking to people of all backgrounds. He listened to their concerns and hopes. Bill wanted to be a president who understood and cared about the problems of ordinary Americans. The election campaign was a busy and challenging time. Bill faced opposition, but he remained focused on his message of hope and progress. He believed in the strength and potential of America and its people. On election day, the American people voted, and Bill Clinton won the election. He was re-elected as President of the United States. This victory was a sign of the trust and confidence people had in him. It was also an opportunity for Bill to continue the work he had started in his first term. As Bill began his second term, he was focused on his goals. He wanted to build on the achievements of his first term and take on new challenges. He knew that there was still much to be done. One of his main priorities was the economy. Bill wanted to ensure that the economic growth the country was experiencing continued. He worked on policies to support businesses, create more jobs, and help people improve their skills for better employment opportunities. Healthcare remained an important issue for Bill. 
even though his previous attempt to reform the healthcare system had not been successful, he was still committed to making healthcare more affordable and accessible. He looked for new ways to achieve this goal. Education was another key focus for Bill in his second term. He believed that every child deserved a high quality education. Bill worked on initiatives to reduce class sizes, increase funding for schools, and support teacher training. He wanted to ensure that the education system prepared young people for the future. Bill also continued his efforts to make communities safer. He supported laws and programs that aimed to reduce crime. This included measures to keep guns out of the hands of criminals and to provide more resources for law enforcement. In terms of foreign policy, Bill faced new challenges and opportunities. He worked on maintaining peace and stability in different parts of the world. He believed in the importance of the United States playing a positive role in international affairs. Bill's second term was also about tackling issues like climate change and environmental protection. He knew that these were global challenges that required attention and action. His administration worked on policies to reduce pollution and promote sustainable practices. Throughout his second term, Bill faced various obstacles. He had to work with a Congress that was often controlled by the opposition party. This required negotiation and compromise. Bill had to find ways to work with lawmakers from both parties to get things done. Despite these challenges, Bill remained committed to his vision for America. He worked tirelessly to improve the lives of the American people and to prepare the country for the future. His leadership during his second term was marked by determination and a commitment to progress. As Bill Clinton's presidency continued, he showed resilience and resolve. He faced each challenge with a focus on what was best for the country. His re-election was not just a personal victory, it was a chance to keep moving America forward. Bill's second term as president was a time of continued change and progress. He worked on important domestic and international issues, always with the goal of making a positive difference. His leadership during this time was a testament to his dedication to public service and to the American people. Chapter 11 Global Stage As President of the United States, Bill Clinton played a significant role on the global stage. His leadership in international politics and diplomacy was a key part of his presidency. Bill understood that what happened in other parts of the world could affect America, and he worked hard to build strong relationships with other countries. One of the major areas of focus for Bill in international politics was promoting peace. He believed that the United States had a responsibility to help resolve conflicts around the world. One of the most notable examples was in the Balkans, in Eastern Europe. This region was experiencing a terrible war, and Bill was determined to help bring peace. He worked with leaders from Europe and other countries to negotiate an end to the fighting. The talks were challenging, but finally, they led to an agreement that helped stop the war. This achievement in the Balkans was a significant moment in Bill's presidency. It showed his commitment to peace and his ability to bring different parties together to solve complex problems. Another important aspect of Bill's work in international politics was trade. He believed that trade between countries could create jobs and improve economies. Bill worked on various trade agreements, including the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, and the establishment of the World Trade Organization, WTO. These agreements were designed to increase trade and cooperation between countries. While they were sometimes controversial, Bill believed that they were important for global economic growth. Bill also focused on building strong relationships with other countries. He met with leaders from around the world, discussing issues like trade, security, 
and human rights. He traveled to different countries, representing America and sharing his vision for a peaceful and prosperous world. These meetings and visits were a crucial part of his role in international politics. They helped build trust and understanding between the United States and other nations. One of the challenges Bill faced in international politics was dealing with crises. During his presidency, there were several situations that required quick and careful action. For example, there were tensions in the Middle East and conflicts in Africa. Bill had to make tough decisions about how to respond to these situations. He worked with his advisors and with leaders from other countries to find the best ways to handle these crises. Bill's approach to international politics was not just about dealing with problems. He also worked on positive initiatives. For example, he supported efforts to improve global health and to fight diseases like AIDS. He believed that the United States should help improve the lives of people around the world. Environmental issues were also important to Bill. He participated in international discussions on climate change and worked on agreements to reduce pollution and protect the environment. He knew that these were global challenges that required countries to work together. Throughout his presidency, Bill Clinton's role in international politics was about promoting peace, building strong relationships and working on global challenges. He believed that the United States should be a leader in creating a better, more peaceful world. Bill's work on the global stage was a key part of his legacy as president. He showed that diplomacy and cooperation were important tools in international politics. His efforts helped improve America's image in the world and made a positive impact on many global issues. Chapter 12 Domestic Focus Bill Clinton's presidency was not just about his role on the global stage. It also had a strong focus on domestic policies. These policies were about improving the lives of the American people and making the United States a better place to live. Bill's domestic focus covered various areas, including the economy, healthcare, education and social issues. One of the main domestic issues that Bill tackled was the economy. When he became president, the United States was facing economic challenges. Bill's goal was to strengthen the economy and provide more opportunities for Americans. He implemented policies to create jobs, support businesses and manage the country's finances better. These efforts led to a period of economic growth. More jobs were created and many people found it easier to get work. This economic improvement was one of the key achievements of Bill's presidency. Healthcare was another area of domestic focus for Bill. He wanted to make healthcare more accessible and affordable for all Americans. While his initial attempt to overhaul the healthcare system did not succeed, he continued to work on improving healthcare. He introduced measures to expand health insurance coverage and to make medicines more affordable. These steps helped many people get better access to healthcare services. Education was a top priority for Bill. He believed that a good education was the foundation for a successful future. His administration worked on increasing funding for schools, reducing class sizes and improving education standards. Bill also focused on higher education, making it easier for students to get financial aid for college. These efforts in education aimed to provide better learning opportunities for children and young adults across the country. Bill also addressed various social issues during his presidency. He worked on policies to reduce crime and improve public safety. This included putting more police officers on the streets and introducing measures to control the use of guns. He also focused on social welfare programs, making changes to provide better support for people in need while encouraging work and self-sufficiency. Environmental protection was another important aspect of Bill's domestic policies. 
He took steps to reduce pollution and to address the issue of climate change. His administration worked on policies to protect natural areas and to promote clean energy. These efforts showed his commitment to preserving the environment for future generations. Throughout his presidency, Bill faced challenges in implementing his domestic policies. He had to work with Congress to get laws passed, and sometimes he faced opposition. But he remained committed to his goals and worked to find solutions that would benefit the American people. Bill's domestic policies had a significant impact on American society. They helped improve the economy, made health care more accessible, improved education, and addressed important social and environmental issues. His focus on domestic matters showed his dedication to the well-being of the American people and to making the United States a better place for everyone. As president, Bill Clinton's domestic focus was about making positive changes in the country. He worked on a wide range of issues, always with the goal of improving the lives of ordinary Americans. His efforts in domestic policy were a key part of his legacy as a leader who cared about the people he served. This section covers Bill Clinton's domestic policies and their impact on American society, focusing on the economy, healthcare, education. Chapter 13. Controversy and Crisis. Bill Clinton's presidency, while marked by significant achievements, also faced its share of controversies and crises. These challenges were both political and personal and tested Clinton's leadership and resilience. One of the major political challenges Bill faced was the intense scrutiny and opposition from some members of Congress and the media. This opposition often led to political standoffs and made it difficult for him to implement his policies. Bill had to navigate through these political waters carefully trying to find common ground and ways to move his agenda forward despite the opposition. A significant crisis that Bill faced during his presidency was related to his personal life. This was the scandal involving Monica Lewinsky, a former White House intern. The scandal became a major news story and led to a lot of controversies. Bill initially denied the allegations but later admitted to having an inappropriate relationship with Lewinsky. This admission led to a series of events that deeply impacted his presidency. The Lewinsky scandal led to Bill being impeached by the House of Representatives. The impeachment was a very serious matter. It meant that Congress was formally charging Bill with misconduct. The charges were related to perjury, lying under oath and obstruction of justice. This was a difficult and embarrassing time for Bill, his family and his administration. Despite the impeachment by the House, Bill was later acquitted by the Senate. This meant he was not removed from office and continued his presidency. However, the scandal left a mark on his legacy and affected how some people viewed his presidency. Throughout this crisis, Bill's ability to focus on his presidential duties was tested. Despite the personal and political challenges, he continued to work on the country's domestic and foreign policies. He showed a remarkable ability to compartmentalize, to keep his personal issues separate from his responsibilities as president. Another challenge Bill faced was related to various investigations into his and Hillary Clinton's past business dealings in Arkansas known as the Whitewater Controversy. Although no charges were brought against Bill or Hillary, the investigation added to the atmosphere of controversy that surrounded his presidency. These controversies and crises were not just political issues, they were deeply personal too. They affected Bill's reputation and the public's perception of him. Despite these challenges, Bill remained popular with many Americans who appreciated the economic prosperity and other successes of his administration. Throughout these difficult times, Bill showed resilience. He did not let personal and political controversies stop him from carrying out his duties as president. 
he continued to work on important issues like the economy, education, and international relations. Bill Clinton's handling of these controversies and crises showed both his strengths and weaknesses as a leader. On one hand, he demonstrated an ability to remain focused on governing and to maintain public support in the face of adversity. On the other hand, these events also highlighted the complexities of personal integrity and accountability in public office. The controversies of Bill's presidency were not just about his personal choices. They were also about how those choices impacted the nation. The issues raised discussions about morality, leadership, and the expectations of public figures. These events led to a national conversation about the role of personal behaviour in public life. Despite the challenges he faced, Bill's presidency continued. He managed to keep his focus on the national and international issues that mattered to the American people. His ability to do this, in the face of personal and political turmoil, was a testament to his commitment to his role as president. The controversies and crises of Bill Clinton's presidency are a significant part of his story. They show the challenges of leadership and the impact of personal decisions on a public career. These events also reflect the intense political environment of the time and the high expectations placed on public figures. Chapter 14. The Power of Resilience. Bill Clinton's presidency was a time of significant achievements, but it also faced its share of adversity and criticism. Throughout these challenges, Bill showed a remarkable quality, resilience. Resilience is the ability to recover from difficulties, to stay strong and keep going no matter what happens. One of the key ways Bill dealt with adversity was by staying focused on his goals. Despite the criticisms and controversies, he kept his attention on the work that needed to be done. He continued to push forward his policies on the economy, healthcare, education and international relations. This focus helped him to not get overwhelmed by the challenges he faced. Bill also dealt with adversity by staying connected with the American people. He often travelled around the country, speaking directly to people, listening to their concerns and sharing his vision. This connection with people gave him a sense of what was important and helped him stay grounded. It also reminded him of who he was working for and why his efforts were important. Another way. Bill showed resilience was through his. Ability to adapt to changing situations. He understood that not everything would always go as planned and that he needed to be flexible. When faced with opposition in Congress or setbacks in his policies, Bill was willing to make adjustments. He worked to find compromises and alternate solutions, showing his commitment to achieving his goals, even if it meant taking a different path. Communication was another important tool for Bill in dealing with adversity. He was a skilled communicator and used this ability to address criticisms and explain his actions. Whether through speeches, press conferences or interviews, Bill effectively communicated his intentions and responded to concerns. This open communication helped to clarify misunderstandings and maintain public support. Bill also drew strength from his team and advisers. He surrounded himself with skilled professionals who provided him with advice and support. These individuals helped him navigate through difficult times and make informed decisions. Having a reliable team was crucial in dealing with the complexities of the presidency. Importantly, Bill also learned from the challenges he faced. Each adversity was an opportunity for growth. He reflected on his experiences, both successes and failures, and used these insights to become a better leader. This ability to learn from adversity is a key aspect of resilience. Despite the controversies and criticism, Bill maintained a positive outlook. He believed in the potential for good in every situation and focused on the long. Chapter 15. 
Legacy and Impact Bill Clinton's presidency, spanning from 1993 to 2001, was a period of significant change and development for the United States. As his time in office came to an end, it became clear that his presidency had left a lasting impact on American politics and society. One of the most notable impacts of Bill Clinton's presidency was the economic growth that occurred during his terms. The United States experienced a period of strong economic expansion, with the creation of millions of jobs and a significant reduction in the national debt. This economic prosperity was one of the key achievements of his administration and set a standard for future economic policies. Bill's focus on health care also had a lasting impact. Although his attempt to completely overhaul the health care system was not successful, he made important strides in expanding access to health care. His efforts led to the creation of the Children's Health Insurance Programme, CHIP, which provided health coverage to millions of children in low-income families. This was a significant step towards improving health care in the United States. In education, Bill's presidency saw the implementation of various reforms aimed at improving the quality of education. His administration worked on reducing class sizes, increasing investment in schools, and expanding access to technology in classrooms. These changes had a long-term effect on the education system, emphasizing the importance of education for the country's future. Bill Clinton's presidency also had a lasting impact on international relations. His approach to foreign policy, focusing on diplomacy and economic cooperation, helped to shape America's role in the global community. His efforts in brokering peace in the Balkans and in advancing trade agreements like NAFTA were significant contributions to international relations. Social issues were another area where Bill's presidency made a lasting impact. He advocated for various social reforms, including efforts to reduce crime rates through the Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act, and initiatives to support families and children. These policies reflected a commitment to addressing the complex social challenges facing American society. Bill's presidency was also notable for its emphasis on technology and innovation. His administration recognized the growing importance of technology and worked to increase internet access and promote technological development. This focus on technology paved the way for the rapid technological advancements that followed in the 21st century. However, Bill Clinton's presidency was not without its controversies. The personal and political challenges he faced, particularly the impeachment process, had a lasting impact on American politics. These events sparked discussions about personal conduct, ethics and accountability in public office. The controversies of his presidency became a part of his legacy, influencing the way future political scandals were perceived and handled. Despite these challenges, Bill Clinton left office with high approval ratings, reflecting the public's overall positive view of his presidency. His ability to connect with the American people, his focus on key domestic issues, and his handling of economic and international challenges defined his time in office. In conclusion, the legacy and impact of Bill Clinton's presidency are multifaceted. His administration's achievements in the economy, health care, education, international relations and social issues had a lasting effect on American society. At the same time, the controversies and challenges he faced provided important lessons in political leadership and public accountability. His presidency was a defining period in American history, leaving a complex and enduring legacy. Chapter 16. Life after the Presidency. After serving two terms as the President of the United States, Bill Clinton's time in the White House came to an end. However, his commitment to public service and making a positive impact in the world did not stop there. Bill's life after the presidency was filled with activities and efforts that continued to contribute to society and global initiatives. 
One of the main ways Bill stayed active after his presidency was through the establishment of the Clinton Foundation. This organization was created to address various global challenges such as health, climate change, economic development, and improving opportunities for people around the world. The Foundation worked in many countries, helping to improve the lives of millions of people. It focused on projects like fighting HIV-AIDS, supporting farmers in Africa, and helping communities affected by natural disasters. Bill also remained involved in global affairs. He continued to use his experience and influence to help resolve conflicts and promote peace. For example, he played a role in peace efforts in the Middle East and in other regions, experiencing turmoil. His experience as a former president and his understanding of global politics made him a valuable figure in these efforts. Another area where Bill made significant contributions was in the area of climate change. He was vocal about the need for action to address global warming and environmental issues. Through his foundation and other initiatives, he worked on projects that promoted renewable energy and sustainable practices. He aimed to raise awareness about the importance of protecting the environment for future generations. Bill also focused on issues of economic development and inequality. He believed that everyone should have the opportunity to succeed and live a good life. His efforts included working on projects to improve education, create jobs and support entrepreneurs, especially in developing countries. He wanted to help build a world where more people could achieve their potential. In addition to his global work, Bill remained active in American politics. He supported various political candidates and causes. His experience and wisdom made him a respected figure in the Democratic Party. He often spoke at events and offered advice on key issues facing the country. Bill's post-presidency life was also about continuing his passion for learning and sharing knowledge. He wrote books, gave speeches, and participated in discussions on important issues. He shared his insights on leadership, politics, and global affairs. His perspective as a former president was valuable in understanding the complexities of the modern world. Despite stepping down from the highest office, Bill Clinton's influence remained strong. He used his status as a former president to continue making a difference in the world. His post-presidency was a testament to his ongoing commitment to service and to making a positive impact on both a national and global scale. In conclusion, Bill Clinton's life after the presidency was marked by continued public service and contributions to society. He remained an active and influential figure in global affairs, working on important issues and using his experience for the betterment of others. His post-presidential years were a continuation of his life's work, striving to create a better, more equitable and sustainable world.